And here's the final way that we can prove that America is indeed the greatest country ever to exist. There's two ways. Number one, we're the only country in the world where even those people who say they hate it refuse to leave. I'm waiting for all these celebrities to leave America. And I haven't seen it. Because there is no better country to be in than America. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, let me check in out Charlie's Cake Milk's Cookie weighs beta down a few picks. Guys, let's get straight into this. My point's gonna be uh, centered around on capitalism and its relationship to immigration. I, for the record, am not a conservative. I'm a revolutionary uh, socialist, anarchist communist to be precise, which is Whoa, much, okay. much further left than Hillary Clinton. And if you ever want to debate with a real leftist, I'd be happy to debate anybody in, in Turning Point. You sit there and you call al-Baghdadi the greatest terrorist or the greatest genocidal maniac in, in the world, right? While ignoring the United States' historical, historical role in the exploitation and the genocide of the indigenous peoples that lived here and the conditions that we consistently subject African-American communities to, which I know what you're going to do. You're going to point it to Democrats. Yeah, the Democrats suck, by the way. I don't like the Democrats either. But like if Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton is about as far left, far left as you go, you need to keep going. Uh, don't go the other way. But my point being is, how can you ignore the contradictions within capitalism and its exploitation of indigenous peoples and its exploitation of labor and its exploitation of its ecological dislocations while at the same time criticizing religious fundamentalists who should be criticized while ignoring the genocidal behavior of the United States, the largest empire to ever exist. And those relationships can be proven through our historical, me and my name is Jorge, so that can be proven through our relationships with South America via uh, the way that okay. we've developed South thank, America thank through you. NAFTA okay, and CAFTA. I, I think I got where you're coming from. So um, there was a lot there. First of all, America's definitely made mistakes in our history. The Vietnam War was a mistake. The Iraq War was a mistake. Uh, but America is not a mistake. The world is a better place because of America. American, True. Let, allow me to finish. I allowed you to talk uninterrupted. South Korea exists because of America. America went into the Korean War for one reason only, to make sure that the Korean communists did not control the entire Korean Peninsula. Tens of thousands of Americans died, so now that tens of millions South Koreans can live free. If we did not get involved in the Korean War, which people would say was empire building, but guess what? We gave the, we gave the entire country back to the South Koreans, and they are a free, Western-centered, neoliberal democracy that is an amazing, beautiful country thanks to American interventionism. Now, mind you, America has made plenty of mistakes. I am not an apologist for every decision that America has made in the history of our country. However, America is a country that has made the world a better place. The world is more generous, more fair, more benevolent, more creative because of the American experiment and because of our country. When people are in trouble, America steps up. When there's a humanitarian crisis, America steps up. The most valuable countries, the largest cultural influence. And here's the final way that we can prove that America is indeed the greatest country ever to exist. There's two ways. Number one, we're the only country in the world where even those people who say they hate it refuse to leave. I'm waiting for all these celebrities to leave America. And I haven't seen it. Because there is no better country to be in than America. And number two, there is a waiting list, 45 million people long, to get into this country legally. We let in one million people legally into this country every single year. There's only two million legal immigrants into America every single year. We let in a million of those immigrants. In fact, I think that's too many. I think we're, we need to actually have the Raise Act by Senator Tom Cotton and moderately lower that over time. So this insinuation that America is an evil country and that is, it's, it's within our fabric, which you're nodding your head and you agree with, is insulting to our history. It's an incorrect analysis of the good that we have done with the world. And honestly, it is not looking at what's actually happening to the amount of people that want to come into this country yeah. to make their lives better. Well, guys, I honestly would say America is a great place because, like, I'm on this platform because of America. Like, I know a lot of people actually created a lot of stuff. And without America, I, I honestly believe that there's no person that you can see without me the world will not move on but the world will move on but like i believe with america the world is moving on smoothly america helps a lot of people like first of all i would say companies like there are different tech companies from america that have impacted lives like different ngo organizations that are helping lives like i feel america is just a great place to be in like the most free country in the world like i i can say america is one of the most free country in the world because like it gives you this kind of ability to be yourself for you to be free for you to speak out like you have your voice like you can cry for what you want and you get it as far as it makes sense even if it doesn't make sense because now i don't really see how lg <sighs> i'm not getting this video council but like you can cry for all you want and you get it. Like you, you have people who have listening ears that are, are willing to listen to your pain. 
And for me, I feel the country makes sense. Like it's it's a working country, like good roads, good good everything. Even if to afford a house there is fucking expensive. But like you you, you get the point, like you still have what you have in America is actually an amazing place to be in. You get reduction on tax on YouTube. Sorry, I I'm just <laughs> I was lost. But like even America, like you have a lot of privilege being an American citizen. And I feel a lot of Americans that cry and brag a lot, they won't trade that for anything. Try being in Africa or try being another country where you can't use paper, cash up, Venmo, even when you have the resources to work for it. You're not gonna fucking get paid for it. There are some pain when you see people trying their best to go to America and they can't like because you know America is a country where when you're willing to work you make money. But guys, tell you to come up there. Thanks to like, share, subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.